Welcome to the web demo video of NetExposure's Digital Asset Management Solution. NetExposure was the first digital asset management solution built with an Adobe Flex user interface. Flex is a highly productive framework for building rich internet applications that deploy consistently on all major browsers, desktops, and operating systems by leveraging Adobe's Flash and Air runtimes. NetExposure is a web-based application accessible through all major web browsers with secure name and password. Let's get logged in here. The solution can be customized with logos on the main splash screen and in the top right corner of the page. The background color theme can also be switched out to match a brand look and feel. The option also exists to have the dashboard on the home page instead of a main logo. These are configurable windows of content that can be populated with latest activities such as most viewed items, latest uploaded images or documents, latest reviewed files, RSS feeds from a, an external source, or a variety of other criteria. At the top of the screen, you have some system admin controls. In the top left of the screen, we have a general keyword search and then an advanced search area. And on the left side of the screen, you have a category structure that is just mirroring a file structure on the server. This can be an unlimited number of categories and subcategories. And as this starts to expand, a scroll, a scroll bar will appear. And the window can be expanded to com accommodate a large file structure. Let's go into an example category here, Cities, New York. Once you're in a particular category, you'll notice there's some viewing preferences down at the bottom of the page. You can sort the category by different metadata associated with it. There's a thumbnail size slider bar that will increase or decrease thumbnail size on the fly. You're currently looking at the gallery view, but we could also go into a list view where we're listing one after another with some selected metadata fields pulled out to the right. There's a presentation view, which uh, sort of mimics a look of flipping through, virtually flipping through a stack of photos. And then there's a list view if the goal is to get as many files on the page as once with no thumbnail and then the file name and some configurable met, uh, metadata fields pulled out to the right. There's also an actions menu associated with the category level. You'll notice that the first few of these are referencing the cart. On the far right of the screen is a gray bar. Clicking that will move the work area to expose the cart on the right side and the category structure on the left. Files can be clicked and dragged into the cart, or they can be clicked on and selected one at a time and then select, add the selected to the cart, or the entire page or the entire category could be added to the cart. The cart is sort of a shopping cart metaphor in the sense that you could download everything from your cart at once, or you could provide a, a, or perform a variety of batch tasks, such as editing, batch editing metadata. Let's get back into that category level view. Another tool from the category level is the slideshow, which will go into a full screen slideshow mode. And there's also the email slideshow function. If you, if you click that, I'm just going to fill out a quick email to myself. I'll write in test in the subject heading and some notes here and shoot that off. Basically, this is a tool for grabbing a group of files and shooting them out to somebody who may not necessarily have direct access to the DAM. Let me check my email here. It takes, usually takes a second. There we go. Now, the recipient of the email will get uh, the email with, of course, the subject and whatever notes, but then just a link. And if they click on that link, they will get a, a full screen slideshow mode of, uh, view of that category. They can go in and, and 
uh, browse through the different uh, files and of course download or access more image info. Other action items is create PDF. This would drop all the files into Acrobat and generate a PDF document with all the thumbnails and names of the files. And then finally we could uh, have a shortcut to the import screen that will import directly to this category. From the category level view, you can double click on any asset to get to the asset details page. To the right of the thumbnail is a series of tabs, starting with the file info tab, which has all the basic information on the file, such as name, description, file height, width, format, etc. To the right of the file info tab is the attributes tab. This is an area where you can create custom metadata fields, name them whatever you want, and turn them into either text boxes, pull down menus, date fields, now, in the core product, you can create 50 customizable metadata fields. However, we also have an optional add-on module called the Metadata Manager, which would allow you to create metadata templates that you can then tie to different user groups or asset categories. The next tab is the Categories tab, and this is a good place to point out. We're at the admin level, so we're seeing full functionality, so not all user levels would see uh, have this capability. However, from the Categories tab, you can either add or move the file into different categories. If I select Add, I can make a duplicate of the thumbnail and drop it in a new category without actually duplicating the asset. If I choose to move the asset, it'll actually pull it out of the root category on the file structure and drop it into a new category. The next tab over is permissions. This will give me a quick reference to see all the permissions in the system that are associated with this file. I can also go ahead and uh, add a new permission such as denying access to this file to a user or a group of users. The next tab over is versions. There is a version repository tied to every file name. So you can have an unlimited number of versions and we'll track the name of the user who created the version, a timestamp associated with that, and a notes field that shows exactly what is different about the version. Any older version can be reactivated to the top spot by hitting the reactivate button and that'll switch out that version and make that the default file you get when you download this file. The next tab over is views. Views are a little different than versions in the sense that they are basically an area to upload commonly used variations of the file that are optimized at specific sizes or formats for particular uses. And it's not meant to be a replacement for the master file. It's just supposed to be meant to be uh, a repository of commonly used versions of that file. So I can upload these, click on whichever file I wanted, and download it without getting the high resolution master file. Now, this also gets into a, a, a the feature of our workflow module. One of the things that's uh, included in that module is the auto task feature. And that lets you automate certain tasks in the system. And one of the things you can do with that is to say, automate the task of creating all these views. Some customers, when, when they upload a, a version, want all these uh, views automatically created upon import. That is one thing you can do with the auto task module, or the auto task uh, feature of the workflow module. Also included in the workflow module is the review tab. The review tab is going to let you uh, create a review on a particular file. So each file has a system uh, initiator of a review. Now that, that initiator can add different people to the review of this particular file. So this, this particular file has several users that uh, can log in and have access to review the file. If I wanted to add more users to the review, I'd hit the change button. And from here, I'm going to get a list of all users in the system. And I can just click and drag them over and add the new users to that review. So when this, that user that I just dragged in logs in, he will see the review tab. He'll also have everyone else's review along with their status uh, icons and comments. So if this user, for example, wanted to add a new review to this file, they'd go down and hit the add button. They may say that, uh, you know, uh, I don't like the file and change it either to reject it or canceled or accepted or delete it and hit save. And then that is the latest review on that file uh, uh, for this asset.
The next tab over is index, and this would be an area that's just going to list common uh, uh, all the keywords that are going to be associated with this file for keyword search and retrieval. From the Asset Details page, you can access the Asset Actions menu. This allows you to perform a specific function to the file. Starting at the bottom of the list is the Zoom tool. Clicking this will start the Zoom tool. In a second, it'll fire up. And then you can use the slider bar in the top left to zoom in on the file or click and drag to pan around the image. 